Hello, we're back with the ladies from Ryan's Cases for Smiles. Here's Flo. She's going to show us how to cut the fabric for a pillowcase. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. And I'm hoping, hoping that you get a, a good learning experience out of this and be able to make some pillowcases for us. To start, what you need is two yards of coordinating fabric. I have a red fabric here. And I have a coordinating fabric, which happens to be Jasmine from Aladdin, okay? And they do coordinate together. So you take, what you do is you have a yard, you take your first fabric, you need a rotary cutter and a ruler, and of course a cutting mat. You lay your first yard down on your cutting mat and line it up at 27 inches. You can see that. Okay, and now you cut at 27 inches, okay? Now you have the body, which is three quarters of an inch, three, quarter, three quarters of a yard, and then you have the cuff, which is a quarter of a yard, but you don't want to put them together, so you want to take your other coordinating fabric, and I will put it aside for a moment. Now take your other yard of coordinating fabric. Again, lay it out on your cutting mat. Take your ruler at the 27 inch mark. Your rotary cutter. And now you wanna cut that one. Again, you have one quarter of a yard and three quarters of a yard. Now, to make your pillowcase kit, I'm going to take my three quarters of a yard fabric of my print and my one quarter of a yard fabric of my solid that goes with it. I take my three quarters of a yard and I fold it in half so that the fold is at the top of your fabric and the salvage is at the bottom. So you're folding it lengthwise. And we're gonna lay that again on your cutting mat. And we're gonna take your one quarter of a yard of fabric on the fold and match it with the fold of your three quarters of a yard fabric and lay it down like this. So that you have three pieces here on the fold and the salvages are all down here. And now we're gonna cut that at 21 inches. We're gonna line it up at the 21 inch mark on your mat. And if you do them together, one on top of the other, you will be a better guarantee that your pieces will be the same size and they will fit much better when you go to pin them together. And then you cut that off. Now you have your kit ready to make pillowcases. And now we are ready for the next station, which is our pinning station. Excellent. Our next, pinning, our next station is pinning, and this is our wonderful volunteer, Nancy. And we're just Hi, everyone. Yeah. And she is doing our pinning for us. So, should I start? Yeah, would you start with a new one for yeah. us? Start with the one that I just cut for you. So the first thing you're going to do is take your cuff and lay it face up. And your cuff does not matter which direction it's going. So even if you have a directional fabric, it doesn't matter as long as it's face up. Your body of your fabric, the body of your pillowcase, you put face down so that the right sides go together. If it's a directional fabric, then you want to make sure that it's um, going the correct direction. In other words, it looks like it would be right side, if it was flipped over right side up, then it would be going the correct direction. Once you have them laid out like this with right sides together, you fold it eh, halfway up-ish, and then you roll it like a burrito. Not quite all the way to the top. And then you take the bottom edge of the cuff and flip it up to the top so that you have three layers of fabric at the top. 
You only want three. If you ever have four, you're going to wind up with a pillow tube instead of a pillow case. You have three layers, the two edges of the cuff and one layer of the body. And then you pin across. Make sure that you catch all three layers all the way across. And Nancy's been doing this for years for us. She is our master pinner. She makes it easy. Easy, easy, easy for us. And I do believe it is part easy, right? It is a very simple process. Yes, it, is. it is. Awesome. So once we're done with that, then we go to our next station over here. And this is our wonderful volunteer, Kay. Happy Monday. Hi, Kay. And Kay is here today. She's doing our, what we call our cup, or our, um, she's sewing our burrito. So you take the burrito to your sewing machine, and you want to sew a little more than a quarter inch in. So a little more than that quarter inch too, somewhere between a quarter and a half. For you math people, it's about three eighths. And you're just going to sew a straight seam on your machine all the way down. You want to make sure that you catch all three of those layers. So, so you're going to do this all the way down on your machine. And when you get done, you're going to wind up with our awesome burrito. They look like this. So this is the really cool part about the burrito. After you finish sewing the burrito, you turn it. And it's kind of like unrolling pantyhose, if anybody wears those anymore. <laughs> I don't think I've worn those in the And you just keep pulling and pulling the inside out until you get to the end of the pillowcase. We call this turning the burrito. And once you get to that point, you have the cutest the beginnings. On, oh my gosh. And okay. all of your seams yes. are inside. So you have no exposed seams for your cup. All of your seams will be inside. Wonderful. So once you've done that, then you. Uh, you have a couple different ways of finishing this. If you have a serger at home, this is the most efficient. So once you've done, once you've flipped your burrito, <laughs> that sounds like a fun phrase. Once you've flipped your burrito, mm -hmm. you take it to a, somebody with a serger. At least that's what we do here. This is our wonderful volunteer, Debbie. Hi, She's yeah. our serger extraordinaire. And she's going to finish off our pillowcase by surging down the side and completing what we call the L. Sergers are incredible machines. And she's doing something called tucking the tail at the moment. Which just ensures you don't have a back stitch on a serger. So tucking the tail just makes sure that that top seam there doesn't come unwrapped. Serger cuts off fabric as it goes, um, and it makes a nice smooth seam like you would see on the seam of your t-shirt or clothing. It's a good way to seal off a pillowcase. Super fast. It is very quick, yeah. But she's actually going at a nice slow pace for us, too. <laughs> Debbie's usually really quick. So once you get down to the edge, you saw that she turned to a 90 degree angle, and then just went down the side of the next seam. And then again, we don't have a back stitch, so we have to finish that seam off. That just locks those stitches in. So, and then your pillowcase is almost done. We just have to turn them inside out. Right side out. Or right side out, yeah. They Amazing. Are How adorable for the little ones. They're so cute. So that's one way to finish off your pillowcase with a serger. Now, if you don't have a serger at home, you can always do a French seam. 
and we're going to jump back over here to our sewing machine and Flo is going to show you how to do a French seam using a sewing machine to finish off your pillowcase. Try again. Okay, so now you have your pillowcase. Instead of putting right sides together, we're going to put wrong sides together first. Okay, so we have our pillowcase, we have our cuff sewn, and I'm putting wrong sides together, trying to match up your cuff seams as much as, as best as possible. Okay, then I'm going to put it into the machine and I'm going to sew a good quarter inch seam all the way around. Trying to make sure that the fabrics stay matched up as best as possible. you think it's about a quarter of an inch turn it and then keep going down to the other end to the bottom of your L and sew your quarter inch seam all the way on the two sides Now we have a pillowcase sewn. It's all sewn around and all together, but we really don't want raw edges. So what we do, now we're gonna turn the pillowcase right side, wrong side out. And you really should press this to get the best seam possible but in lieu of time, and I don't think we have a, uh, an iron set up right now. So I'm going to sew this, and now I'm going to make a half inch seam all the way around. So that closes? What that will do is that hides your raw edge. When you turn the pillowcase right side out, you will now have no raw edges. Fantastic. And you do it about a half inch instead of a quarter inch because that way if there's any extra threads or anything or if you didn't go quite straight enough, you know your seam will be totally covered. Wonderful. And just sew down the two, what, two, two seams that you will have already sewn sewing about a half inch. And I try to keep my needle down when I turn it, so that way you don't lose your fabric out of the machine. And like I said, it's really best if you press it before you do this step. That way your seam is turned fully and you don't have to worry about any wrinkles or anything in it. And now I know you're gonna ask is, well, now your pillowcase is smaller because I've done pretty much three quarters of an inch seam on the whole thing. Not, no worry because our pillowcases are always oversized anyway because we never know what size the pillowcases are at the hospitals and stuff. And so our pillowcases will pretty much fit any size pillow, any size standard pillow. Now you can see I have a closed seam. There are no raw edges. And we really don't want raw edges because the children 
they have IVs, they have a lot of tape, they have a lot of machines around them, so you don't want fabric fraying on their uh, pillowcases. And if you get any little fray sticking out, then you just cut them off. But now you have a closed seed. So basically a closed system. That is awesome. Okay. Um, Thank you. And if you have any questions, you can always contact us and we will help you out. Um, you can go to our website and get our email addresses and send us messages. And a lot of you know us. You can call us if you have any problems. But this is what goes to the children after it's been washed, ironed, and bagged. And we have one more special announcement too. Um, we also have um, Inspires being very generous to us, not only allowing us to do this today, but they're also giving you guys an awesome opportunity to get a free gift. For every five pillowcases that you make and bring in and donate, you will receive a special free gift. So that's an awesome incentive. So for the first 25 people who make and bring in five pillowcases, you will receive a free gift. So that's our happy special announcement for today. So thank you guys so much for joining us today and um, for helping the children, for making them feel better to heal better. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yes, very it is. much so. And we hope to be with you in person very soon. Yes. Happy sewing, everybody. Thank you so much, Flo, Jamie, and ladies. Well, thank you, Inspire, for letting us be here today. And we also, we do know that there's a lot of guys that do a lot of sewing, too. So thank you, guys, as well. Thank you again. Thank, Thank you, you and have a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.